Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day today. If you are new here, welcome. Today what I'm doing, instead of a Mask Monday, I'm going to show you guys my mask collection. Now you can see my collection here. I mean, I have other masks I put to the side that are single use, so but I don't include them as part of my collection because they're not something that I have specifically purchased. I've either received them as part of a package deal or as a sample. So, but I'm just going to get right into the masks that I have in my little basket here. Now you can see a bunch of the face mask alchemy masks. So I'm going to take those guys out first so you guys can see. Now this is the newest one for this month for February. This is the Kuule Kuule Ipa. I think that's what it says. Ipo. I'm sorry, I said it wrong. Okay, so this one I did not do on camera because what happened was I did the test patch and for some reason my mast cell uh, disorder just went into overdrive with this. On the third try on the test patch, it wasn't as bad, but I'm still on the fence about putting it all over my face. So this one I may pass along uh, because I don't think I can use it right now. And What's odd is that the ingredients are all ingredients that I have used before. I mean, clay, rose petal powder, um, rubos tea, white tea, coconut milk, uh, maltodextrin, and modified food starch. So I don't think that there's really anything in here that should be affecting me. So um, yeah, so I'm going to just put this guy for, to the side right here and put everything to the side. And then I have this one from the fall, the pumpkin and glow. I really like this one, but what happens is, you know, is these do expire. So I have a little bit left and what I'm going to do with this is that I'm going to turn this into like a face scrub. What I do is I usually use these, I add them to my cleanser a little bit, and then you can use them as a scrub if you're at the end. And you don't have to really leave it on that long. And yeah, they're really great. Same with this guy. Magi is one I haven't gotten really into, even though it was for December, but I'm going to do this. I used it once and I'm going to use it as a mask again. I'm going to do this on camera probably. I may mix this with uh, something else. I have not decided yet. And then I still have, of course, the cold turkey. Let me put that out. That was from January. I love this one. I'm still using it. And I have the mochi polish. Now, this is one I've been using as a scrub. This one is incredible. There's just a tiny bit left. And I know it may or may not be expired by now, but I'm still going to use it because I love it. Okay, those are my face mask alchemy. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay, so then I have this one, the Cleopatra from um, Little Fox. I have to mix this with something a little more moisturizing, even though it is a milk and a honey beauty mask. My skin tends to get really dry from this one, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to dry my skin out any more than it needs to be. And then I also have this one from Little Fox, the Jungle Glow. Now this one, I am literally like scraping the bottom here. You can, I don't know, you probably can't see inside of there. Let me see if I can get this light over here more. No, you can't, you really can't see. That's how dark it is. But yeah, I'm like right at the bottom of this one. So this one is just about ready to go. And, you know, I want to get another one of these. I only use this maybe once every couple of weeks because I have all the other ones here. And then, of course, I have the Iuna Essence. I love this. I use this uh, probably once every maybe three weeks because it's so expensive and I want to make it last as long as I possibly can. I don't use as much as I initially used it when I first applied it. So it makes it a lot easier to come off the gamage. So I love this. This is definitely one I would save up for. Okay, and then I have, let me see what I have here. Then I have the Kahina Giving Beauty Moisture Mask. I love this mask. This is very moisturizing. You just, you can apply this, just leave it on overnight and then rinse it off in the morning. I really like this one. I like all, uh, the trend here is that I love all of my masks. If you see a mask uh, here, that means these are masks that I like and that I have kept in my collection. 
Okay. Now, this is not necessarily a mask, but I keep the box because the instructions are on here on how to use it and what, you know, different um, things in this in this line. I got this in one of my glossy boxes, and it's technically not a mask, but I have used it that way because the ingredients are right here. I don't know if you can see the ingredients. is oat flour, non-fat milk powder, and magnesium carbonate. So there's only three ingredients in there. I mix it with an oil and it says you can use it twice a week or as needed for best results. Use the balance and clear with this line. But I've used it. I like it. I put oils in it and that, you know, it makes it a whole lot more moisturizing. You don't really need to leave it on for long. It's more like it cleans out your pores really, really well if you have like um, congestion like I get a lot. So yeah, I like this a lot. And then I have my, um, the one that the Epi Peel from Tammy Fender. You saw my video on this when I used it. And then I got this in also in one of the, um, oh, what was it? The December, the December Detox Market Box. This is the Dr. al Organic Universal Mask. Now, I haven't used this mask yet. It is a powder mask, though. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It came as part of that. You can see the color. So I am probably will get to this one eventually. I think I should do this one on camera next. Do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think that I should use this one next uh, as part of my Mask Monday. And then I have the Josh Rosebrook Advanced Hydration Mask. I think this was also part of, this was from the Detox Market box. I think this was the November box. And this one was the December, this is November and this is the December Detox Market box. So I like this a lot. It's extremely hydrating. So you use this, you really don't need too much on your skin. If you know, if you live in a moderate climate, but here since it gets so cold in the winter, I still need some moisturizer on my skin after I use this one, but I really like this one a lot. And the last one I have here, of course, is the one for the last last month's um, Pearlesque box. It's the Aina mask from uh, Hanua. And you can see this guy. I like this mask. Wow. Really like this mask a lot. It's like putting mud on your face. I just love, you know, the way it looks when you apply it. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's my inner child saying, you know, playing in the dirt and the mud. So, yeah. So that's all of my masks, guys. I mean, look at that all spread out all over my table. Let me move this up to show you guys. And you see my messy table over there, too. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but, you know, I've downsized a lot. And I haven't done downsized my skincare because I love my skincare a lot. And that's not something I would want to get rid of but yeah and i'm sure i would probably very be very unhappy if i did that to myself because i don't know i just i'm just trying to get my masks back in here hmm how do i have these in there oh, oops knocking everything all over the place you see me knocking everything everywhere but yeah guys these are my masks these are my main collection of masks that I have. The rest of them is only, there's only like three or four others that are not part of my collection because they're just single use. And the OCD person in me had to do that. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think of this collection here. Okay, take care. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate having all people uh, watching my videos to subscribe so that way you get notifications uh, that I uploaded a new video and well, make sure you hit that bell so you will get that notification that I've uploaded a new video okay take care and I will see you all in the next video bye guys